Tuesday, the 26th of June 2018, witnessed an unprecedented assemblage of family members, friends, well wishes, and colleagues of architect Kunli Bello, who were gorgeously dressed in various colorful attires to celebrate a man of distinguished character, a caring father, a professional per excellence, and a gentleman as he joined the League of Septuagenarians in grand style at the island club Unicon Lagos. The celebrant, architect Kunli Bello, was born to the family of Alhaji and Alhaja Ayonde Bello, who hailed from Lagos Island in Lagos State, Nigeria. His father, Alhaji Ayonde Bello, was the Baba Dini of Osho, the Central Mosque. He attended the famous Udogbolu Grammar School in Jabode, Inugu State. Federal School of Science, FSS Lagos, City University of New York, School of Architecture, among others. Architect Kunle Bello was a recipient of a scholarship award back in his university days. He was sponsored to study architecture by the late Alhaji Chief Wahab in Yoda Folaoyo, who was a bosom friend of his late father. With several construction projects to his credit, Architect Kunle Bello is indeed an articulate and well-informed man with a great spirit of professionalism in his chosen area of specialization. He is married and blessed with two beautiful daughters, Tinuola and Ololade Bello. In attendance at the 70th birthday anniversary of architect Kunle Bello was Dr. Lai Ogumbambi, who was the chairman of the occasion as well as members of different prestigious clubs to which architect Kunle Bello belongs, among which are the Ikoyi Club, the Yoruba Tennis Club, the Island Club, and other prominent clubs in Lagos. The event kicked off with a brief prayer session, after which Al-Haji Ibrahim Alubadawi prayed specially for the celebrant in appreciation of God's faithfulness in his life. This brought the first stage of the ceremony to an end. A prayer session led by Otumba Femi Dino formally started the reception. In his welcome address, the chairman of the occasion, Dr. Lai Ogubambi, appreciated all for gracing the occasion to show love and support to the celebrant, describing him as a devoted Muslim, a perfect gentleman with an exemplary character. He gave thanks to God for all he has done in the life of the celebrant. And may the Almighty Allah give them the will to make themselves the pride of their lovely father and mother. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, once again, I want to welcome you to this occasion and I want to thank you all for taking time out to be here with us. Thank you all and the Almighty Allah will bless you. This was immediately followed by the reading of the celebrant's profile by Mr. Adebaya Adeniro, after which goodwill messages poured in from friends and family members. In 1967, and I am stuck with him, I sincerely, if I count back how many years we have been together, most of the years we are always quarreling. But there are good times which today I will want to be able to remember. Sincerely, architect Kunle Bello, in 1967 when I met him, amiable, understanding, quiet, not pudimusious, he will always listen to people. But along the years, things have changed with age. But I, I don't want to blame it on him or me. But suffice it to say, Architect Kunle Bello is one of my best friends in my life. This fine gentleman called Olani Bello, a distinguished architect, a very brilliant man fine gentleman for excellence and highly accomplished professional and uh, we have been friends for that length of time very reserved very polished man careful 
I thank God that he's gracefully aging. And uh, we thank God for his life. We thank God for his achievements, professionally, family life, and other ones. I only appeal to you, now that you are 70, you should behave like 70. Those of us who are incoming 70, we are incoming 70, because before you became 70, I always tell you, I will be 70, I say you are not 70, you are incoming. But as from today, you are there. So don't harass us who are incoming. We are coming after you. Thank you very much. I got to know architect Bello, not as long as others have been saying. But for the few years I've known him, just about two, three years ago when I was vice chairman of the club, I got to know just about two, three years ago. Enough for me to know the kind of person he is. Such a great man, <laughs> such a lovely man. So like I said, I'm not going to talk too much, I'm just going to tell you, for the two years I've known, got close to him, he's a member of Valor Club, he's been in the club, but he's not a regular user of the club like uh, Levington and other clubs in Gosto. But for those two years only, I've got to know him and see him as a humble, nice, quiet, easygoing man. I pray that God will bless you and bless your new age, sir. That's all I have to say. Just a short one. Thank you very much. The cutting of the 70th birthday cake of architect Kunle Bello was next and was supervised by architect Wahid Balogun as the birthday boy was joined by family members and friends, after which a series of photo and video sessions ensued. Happy birthday to you. Gift items were later presented to the celebrants by various clubs. Thereafter was the toast proposed by architect Ulufemi Ekishola. Please, will you all rise up and raise your glass to celebrate the golden sandwiches. I hope every cup is filled. Hello, hello. On the count of one, two, three, let's raise up our glass and celebrate his 70 and good health and happiness forever. Thank you very much. Happy 70. Oh, he's a good man. Oh, he's a good man. As the dance floor was officially declared open, it was merriment all night long as guests grooved to the rhythm and beat of King Sonyade and his band, who took total control of the night. Family, friends, and well wishers took turns to hit the dance floor with the celebrant. Oh, 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 oh.
From the chairman and CEO Biscon Communications, Prince Besiolatilo, it's 70 hearty cheers to architect Kunle Bello. Thank <laughs> you.